So this is Insight video tutorial number 15 and this will be a demonstration on how to create a disablement type cause and effect using the disablement cause and effect wizard. So in the left hand side in the navigator window we have two panels, panel 1 and panel 2 and on panel 1, loop 1, we have some devices that are covering the dance floor. These are smoke detectors. And so for this example we're going to have these devices isolated when an input on this panel is triggered and effectively will disable these devices so they can't respond to any activation. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set one of the default inputs on the Synchro panel to be a disablement type input. So the panel has five inputs by default. And they're set up uh, as default settings, but we can change any of them. So if we go to panel IOs, you can see this is the five inputs here along the top. Uh, fault, reset, intermittent, continuous and alarm. So effectively I'm going to select one of them and reassign it to be a disablement instead. So I'm going to reassign the intermittent input and have that as my activation to create a disablement type effect. So I'm going to change it from alert and reassign it to disablement. I'm going to assign some text, isolate dance floor detectors. I'm going to make sure it's non-latching so that if I wire this input up to a key that allows them to isolate the dance floor, as they turn the key back to normal state, it will reinstate the devices. Say OK. Close that down. Now we can start to create the cause and effect. So I open up my cause and effects wizard, select the disablement option. It will open up the wizard. It says select the input conditions that will cause the, the disablement. The inputs that we're looking for is not on the loop. So it's not on the channel IO comms cards, but it is on the panel itself. So I select the panel inputs. There's the input that we reassigned to be a disablement type input. So I'm going to tick the box. It's going to be an OR event, I just this the input operating will cause the event. Go next. We now need to select the inputs and outputs that will be disabled. In this case, we just want the inputs, the actual smoke detectors on panel one, loop one. So we just need to check all the panel one, loop one dance floor detectors. So we check the box. go next and now assign some text so that when we turn that key and it operates that input it will come up on the front of the panel with some text as to what's occurring there'll be a disablement light on the eight on the panel and it will show this message and say finish and there we go that's now created there's a cause and effects uh, line for more information regarding the Synchro Ranger panels and for further tutorial videos, don't forget to check out the Insight website on www.insightfire.com.au.